Hey everybody, welcome back to Quake 4. I am your host, Willie B. Coyote, and in the last video, I stopped dying long enough to actually finish a level. Here's an instant replay. Never, ever forget what the Super Bowl stole from us five years ago. They teased us with sweet victory, and we got the douchebag from Maroon 5 taking off his shirt instead. I know a couple weeks ago was the Super Bowl... And, uh, they actually did do sweet victory this time around. But, come on. If you're not gonna tease it with us with it, don't even bother. Like, um, uh, but, ugh, I can't talk today. Before we get the self-promotion done right out of the gate, a few weeks ago was my birthday! That's right, I've now made 25 trips around the sun, so here's to many trips more, and now on to the self-promotion. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow and hopefully get paid as well. Also, make sure you hit the notification icon so you never miss an upload, and without any further ado, let's get into it. Please stand by. Apologies if you hear barking in the background. I'm dog sitting for uh, some relatives at the moment. So if you hear any barking in the background, that's why. Um, looking at the uh, the screen here, I can definitely tell from the blood stains here that nothing bad is about to happen. Absolutely not. Definitely. And the business. We call this foreshadowing. Whoa, hold on. What's going on? Whoa, whoa. Hey, what, what, what's happening? No, no, I don't like this. Uh... Um... I have several questions. What's what's going on? This this doesn't look safe. Uh, are you complying by OSHA regulations? Ah! 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 Oh. Oh, please, no. No, no, no. What's happening? No, 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 no. What's happening? What's happening? Uh... Um... Wait, what's that? What's that big, gross machine there? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not that. Oh, ah, ah, ah. oh, that's going to leave a mark. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, you're not going to do this to me, are you? No, no, no. Please, please, please. Anything but that. Please, anything but that. Ah! Oh, ow. Oh, ow, that hurts. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, weird floating strong dock thing? No, 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 no! Ah! Uh, no, no! Ah! Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh man, that hurts. You're gonna be hearing from my lawyer. Oh man. Is that a saw blade up ahead? That is that a saw blade? That better not be a saw blade. That's a saw blade. Wait, what are you doing to that poor guy up ahead of me? Oh no, 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 no. Uh, uh. Oh no, 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 no. Please, I no, 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 no. Not my legs. Not my legs. Not my legs. My legs. My legs. My legs. It's my legs. My legs. Oh, 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 why'd you have to cut off my legs? That was so not cool. Come on. Oh. Oh, man, that's painful. Oh, uh, what are you doing to that poor guy in front of me? Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so you're giving me new legs now, huh? To replace the ones that you cut off? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, no, they're turning me into a straw. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Oh, come on. I, uh, uh, ow. Uh, how? Oh, man, that hurts. Oh, man. You're gonna be hearing from my lawyer. You're gonna be hearing from my attorneys. Okay? You sure about that? I don't know. I don't know. Ugh! You know, it's kind of genius how they decided to stick that one poor guy in front of us so that we can see. Oh, uh, oh no, we're next. Alright, come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Come on. Come on. 
Oh boy. Ow! Ow. That hurts. And now we can read and understand Strog. Look, Neurosite implanted. Well, that's just great. All right. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. Oh, man. Hey, that's my squad. Hey, hey, guys, get me out of here. Come on. Took you long enough. Where have you been? Wait. Take a reading on him. According to the med ship, this is Matthew Kane. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! Is he Strog? No, the neurocyte in his head hasn't been activated. The Strog don't control him. How do we know the neurocyte isn't gonna suddenly switch on and he winds up fully Strog? Hey, fuck you, you dude! Guarantee it. HQ, this is Rhino Squad. We've got an injured Marine who needs a Injured? Evac. Injured? Injured? Look at me, I have been mutilated! You call this injured? Okay, look, so... What, you put on a little weight? A little weight? Does this look like a little weight to you? Roger that, HQ. Rhino squad out. Took you guys long enough. Come on. Where have you been? Come on. Let's move out. Come on. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Ah, oh, man. Can't go running around on Ugh. Look at what they did to us. Look. And on the side of the head, they took our face and stretched it out across on a robot head. Ugh. That's gross. But anyways, um, now that we got the Strog up, we're at the point in the game now where we have the Strog upgrades, and now, uh, one of the most notable differences is we now move a lot faster, so it plays a lot more like the older Quake games now. It plays more like a boomer shooter instead of a Halo killer. Yeah. Yeah, I never got, speaking of which, I never got the whole point of Halo killer games. Let me see what I can do. Seriously, like, Halo Killer Games... What's your status? If I could get a word in edge rays. should be at the evac coordinates in 10 minutes. There's a medic with Falcon 5. Take the injured Marine to them. The rest of your men will... Again, I have not been injured. I have been utterly mutilated. Copy that. Rhino out. Okay, Anderson. You escort Kane to Falcon 5. We'll get this door open and proceed without you. Come on, Kane. This way. Okay, through here. Oh boy. They're in trouble. Oh no! We got a Falcon down! Oh boy, that's not good. Yeah, get us out of here, Anderson. Come on. Anderson, this is Lieutenant Foss. Things are looking seriously foobard. Ronnie, go back with us at the Medlad storage facility. We'll head to the primary extraction point. Alright. I copy, Lieutenant. Anderson out. Okay. Let's go, then. So, uh, yeah, I never got the whole point of Halo Killer games. They're like... They fundamentally missed the whole point of what made Halo fun, which was fast-paced gameplay. Like, they just said, let's just take Halo and slow the combat down to a crawl and make the gunplay really slow and really stiff. You know, like... Ugh, man, we are not in good shape. Like, look what they did to us. Uh, dude, get away from there. That's not safe. Have you... Oh, no! I warned you, didn't I? Did I or did I not warn you? Dude, behind you, behind you. Oh, no! Oh, no, not Doc! Not Doc! What are you doing to him? What did Doc ever do to you, man? Come on! Not Doc! This is bullshit. Okay. That tears it. This means war. Of course you realize this means war. You just had to fuck with Doc, didn't you? Screw you! This one's for Doc! And that one is for tearing me apart and turning me into a freak robot thing. Die! Thank you. Grab machine gun. Oh, speaking of which, uh, these things here are that we saw earlier in the game, these weird heart-looking things embedded in the wall are actually health stations that you can heal up at. I'll probably, like, stick in a little flashback sequencer or something in right around now, or thereabouts. The heck is this heart-looking machine thing here? Uh, can't read the 
letters. Oh well. I'm sure that won't be important later on. And the business. We call this foreshadowing. And that was a fun little throwback to the very first episode of this Let's Play. Uh, but anyways, come through here, hit this button. So, uh, yeah, um... Uh, lately I've been playing, uh... Got the nail gun back. Lately I've been playing a lot of the Fallout games to get ready for the Fallout TV show, most notably. I've been just modding the ever-living shit out of Fallout 4. I just grabbed a health pack there. Make sure you check every nook and cranny for, uh, health and stimulants. <laughs> nook and cranny. That's what she said! <laughs> Tactical units at full readiness. Beginning deployment. And, uh, so yeah, I've been modding the ever-living shit out of Fallout 4, and it has been a lot of fun doing so. I've been adding all kinds of gun mods, because anyone who's ever played Fallout 4 will attest to this. The weapon design in Fallout 4 is absolutely atrocious. Like, like I'll probably put up some pictures of the examples of the we bad weapon design in Fallout 4. Uh, right around now and start getting into more details, but the most egregious example by far of the terrible Fallout 4 weapon design is the what they call the assault rifle. That is not an assault rifle. Like, like it would be less egregious if they called it a machine gun, but they didn't. Like, it's... Because the thing is, Fallout is based on the era of the Cold War, so like the 50s and the 60s, right? And, like... The guns that have been canon in the Fallout timeline up until this point have been guns from the Cold War, like the M16 and the M60, and um, guns from the Wild West, like the Colt Single Action Army, uh, which is the, of course, is the iconic Big Iron, and uh, guns like the uh, Winchester Repeater, also classic iconic Wild West gun, and of course. Uh, World War II guns as well, like the Thompson submachine gun. Why did they not include any of those guns in Fallout 4? I will never know. Like, there is literally no logical reason for the Fallout 4 s assault rifle, for an assault rifle to look that like that. Because, for one thing, like, at best, that is a light machine gun, and it's, not only that, it's based off of a bunch... It's a combination design of a bunch of different machine guns, none of which should go together. Like, it's got it's got part of the barrel jacket of a Lewis gun on it, which was obsolete at the time of the Cold War. And But for whatever reason, it's got, like, the water recirculating tube from a Maxim gun when the Lewis gun, which is air-cooled. Like, they combined a water-cooled and air-cooled machine gun together into one, like... It doesn't make any sense. It's terrible. It's awful. It's bulky, and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it with a burning and fiery passion. Like, so, when I started modding Fallout 4, the first thing I immediately did was, uh, like, was, of course, go for Cold War-era machine guns that are already canon in the Fallout timeline. Kane, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Open the door. I'm not sure where the rest of the squad is. My comm link is damaged. Find your way around this mess, and we'll figure out a way to get out of here. Can't you just find something to open the door on your end? C come on, dude. No? Okay. But anyways, uh, first thing I did, of course, was... Like, why did Bethesda make their assault rifle... Or rather, I should just call it a machine gun, because that's what it, it can only logically be with that terrible design. Is, uh... Like, why not just use any of the dozens of Cold War era machine guns that were already that we already know to be canon in the Fallout timeline, such as most iconically the M60, the venerable M60. It's canon in the Fallout timeline. It's a Cold War era machine gun. It's canon in Fallout lore. Like I know I already repeated that, but you know, like, like, and it doesn't look terrible because you know it's a real gun that works. Uh, boss, do you think- sure you want to turn your back on that guy? Uh, behind you! Behind you! Behind you! Behind you! Look out! That's what you get for not looking behind you, dude! Come on, what are you doing? Oh no! Great, now we gotta go help Voss. That's just fantastic. Dog, shut up! Sadie, shut up! Sorry about that, my dog just keeps barking at me. Or rather, my sister's dog. Shut up! <sighs> Sadie, 
for the last time, shut up. Honestly, my dog's bark the dog's barking is just starting to get on my nerves. Like they just won't stop barking at me while I'm trying to record this. It's getting irritating. Anyways, um uh, so, yeah, the first thing I did is install mods on my Fallout. So, yeah, the M60 is... Sorry, I forgot. The, uh, my dog's barking is throwing me off track. Uh, the, uh, the first thing I... There's a bunch of different machine guns that uh, they could have made hate up here in Fallout 4 that would have fulfilled the role of the assault rifle. Um... The, like, the M60, obviously, which it, we know to be canon. Uh, the M249 Saw, which we also know to be canon. Or any other Cold War era machine guns, like the FN240 Bravo, for instance. Or the MG3. Or, like, the RPK or, like, whatever. You know? They could have stuck an RPK in it and call it the Chinese light machine gun, like they did with that one gun that was the Chinese assault rifle in Fallout 3, you know? Like, why not? There's literally no logical reason for why they should have made it that way. Like, come on, Bethesda, what are you doing? And, uh, so the first thing I did, of course, was install a mod for the M60, install a mod for the RPD, ins the RPD light machine gun, uh, and of course, you know, just other, like, light machine guns, like the Browning automatic rifle from World War II, uh... You know, because World War II guns are all canon in the Fallout timeline. And, uh, yeah, just go to town adding all kinds of other weapons as well. Stuff like, um, the M16 to replace the terrible combat rifle. Uh, I, I'm so used to control being the crouch button, I forget in this game it's also the, uh, uh, the, uh, it's also a secondary fire button for whatever reason. Anyways. So, like, yeah, I added the the uh, the M16 as a replacement for the combat rifle because the combat rifle is terrible. And the reason the, com the combat rifle at first glance in Fallout 4 may not look terrible at first glance, but then when you get a closer look at it, you'll realize that, and this is a common problem with a lot of guns in Fallout 4, is that it's a left-handed gun in a game where the player character is right-handed. Like, what are you doing, Bethesda? Come on! Seriously, why are you having a right-handed character live in a world where there are only left-handed guns? It literally makes no sense at all. And the same thing extends to the Fallout 4 submachine gun, which is clearly based on the Thompson, but as well as the Fallout 4 hunting rifle, which is a left-handed bolt-action rifle being used in by right-handed shooters. Here we go, interactive 8 to the next level. 2,000 years later. This is Command HQ to all you. Uh, we go here. Grab some weapons and gear and ammo. Alright, Marines, haul ass. The clock is ticking and this is one flight we don't want to miss. Roger that. Machine gun. Into the mech suit. And now as we continue along, let me keep ranting about Fallout 4 gun design. But yeah, the, uh... Combat rifle is, as well as the hunting rifle in Fallout 4, are left-handed guns in a game where the player character is right-handed. Like, they make, like, if you know anything about guns, you'll know that firing a right-handed gun with your left hand, or firing a left-handed gun with your right hand is a surefire way to cause yourself immense physical pain, because what you're essentially doing is lining yourself up to have white hot brass shell casings coming out of the side of the gun and smacking you in the face really hard, really fast. And it's just so awkward, especially with the hunting rifle, which is bolt action. Like, why would you use a left-handed bolt action rifle with your right hand, and of course vice versa? There's no logical reason. Like, come on. So, the first thing I did, obviously, after after getting real light machine guns to replace the terrible vanilla assault rifle is of course get to replace the combat rifle uh i got mods like the m16 i got the ak-47 i also got battle rifles in there as well like the hkg3 which is can also canon in the fallout timeline 
we I got the uh, M14, which is also canon in the Fallout timeline, and uh, the FNFAL, which is also canon in the Fallout timeline. Like, all any of those guns could have been Fallout Force combat rifle, but instead they just went with this weird thing that it looks like a brown, like a BAR, but it's not a BAR. Like, what are you doing, Bethesda? Come on! You're killing me, Smalls. Like, it makes... <sighs> I know I've repeated this over and over again, but it literally does make zero sense from a design standpoint. Like, like... And even in their own, like, design standpoint, it makes no sense, because in the one of the live-action trailers for Fallout 4, the gun that the, the Vault Dweller was w using in that trailer was literally an M14, or maybe at the very least a Ruger Mini-14, which is just an M14 chambered for 5.56. Like, why not do that? Like, you ha- what, you're, why aren't you including a gun that you had featured in the promotional material for your game? Like, why? <sighs> like, <sighs> it's just so frustrating, like... And then, of course, I included, you know, there's no pump shotgun in uh, Fallout 4, so I included a, uh, I, I got a whole bunch of different pump, different types of shotguns, like auto shotguns, pump shotguns, lever shotguns, you know, lever shotguns like the Winchester 1887 Rose Box from the Terminator movies, but also the iconic and venerable Ithaca Model 37 for Close Encounters, which was the shotgun used by, uh, Michael Bean's characters in Terp in the first Terminator, as well as in Aliens, you know, and uh, and a whole bunch of other just gun and weapon and equipment mods, you know, just to fill out the sandbox, add more variety, and just have weapons that don't look terrible. Like I also got a reskin mod for the pipe guns in there as well, so the pipe guns look less terrible. I'll put up the side by side comparison of the vanilla pipe guns right now versus the uh, retextures that the mod I used give gives them and uh, it makes them less much more easier to look at which makes them make me want to use them more you know and all all in all like just Fallout 4 is a great a really great game if you if you love mods you know it's just an absolute sandbox when it comes to modding like, I'm pretty sure, given a couple years, Starfield will be up to the same level as Fallout 4 when it comes to mods. Like, there's already an impressive amount of mods already for Starfield, but once the official modding tools get released, like, it's just gonna be like, Pandora's box will be opened, you know? It will just be a glorious sight to see. Oh, another thing I did with mods in Fallout 4 as well is I've been watching Black Hawk Down a lot lately. It's like one of my favorite movies because this past year was the 30th anniversary of the Battle of Mogadishu. So I used mods to make my player character look like one of the Delta, look like the Delta Force operators did in Black Hawk Down. You know, like just because like that, like 80s and 90s era Delta Force Special Forces look with like the raid modified BDUs and the car 15s and the Protec helmets, the Protec skateboarding helmets is just so iconic and it just looks so cool and it fits within Fallout canon really really well in my opinion. Yeah. It's just a really really cool look and it works well for my character and I just like doing it. You know, I get a I get that iconic look, pair it with a car 15 from uh the uh, service rifle mod I used to add the M16 in, and uh, it's just an iconic loadout to use. Okay. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Coming up to another mini boss here. Game saved. Let's stop ranting about Fallout guns for a sec for long enough to try and survive this. There we go. And, uh, get a lock. Reloading. Come on. Don't want to die, don't want to die, please. I don't want to die after I've gotten this far. Thank you. Come on. And, uh... Thank you. 
Come on, this should be the final blow. There we go, and down he goes. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. So, uh, yeah, um, it's been really fun modding Fallout 4, you know, like, and playing modded Fallout 4. So, uh, here we are, we come out of the, uh, mech suit here, and move on to the next area, into the dispersal facility, and I think that's pretty much a good enough spot to end this video today. Uh... Thanks to, uh, to everybody again for tuning in. Be sure to wish me a happy birthday in the comments. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss any more uploads in the future. Uh, help me grow. Help me get paid. And uh, all around, just help me out with my YouTube career, you know? Uh, thanks to for tuning in. Thanks for uh, listening to my unhinged rant about Fallout 4's terrible weapon design. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. I've been Willie B. Coyote, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!